In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up the home page of the Gumaro WordPress theme using the theme options panel. So when you first time activate the Gumaro WordPress theme, this is the home page which appears up. Here is the logo. Here the all the pages appears on the menu bar. The slider has the image over it. There is an area for putting up your heading. There is an area for text description and there is a full width area here, right here where you can put off, put any type of content that you want, wish to put right here. And in the footer, it's a widgetized area so you can put up any of the widgets if you want to put up there. So I'm just moving back to the theme options panel and I'm just showing you how you can set up your website using the theme options panel. So the theme options panel is under the appearance theme options panel tab. Under the general settings you can set up the logo, favicon, analytics and your background image of the website. I'm just going to upload a custom logo for my website. As soon as you upload an image you can just press the save all changes button. As soon as you press the save all changes button you just move to the front end of the website and you can see your logo appears right here on the top. In the next area I'm just going to show you how you can put up your slider images right here. I'm moving to the slider settings area and you can upload any of the image to the slider that you want to ap get appear there. I'm uploading my first image and after that I'm uploading my second image to the slider. After uploading two images, I'm just saving all the changes. As I move back to the front page, you can see your images are appearing right here. So the slider have been built up. Next is the section for changing the main heading of the website. You can set this main heading from the home page settings and also you can set the three feature boxes below this below that using the home page setting as well. So this is the home page intro which is actually the main heading. This is the main heading of the website. You can put any of the feature images here. I'm uploading a first feature image. The heading of the first feature can appear here. You can put any of the links that you want to put up in the first feature heading and you can also put some content if you have some. You can upload the second image and pretty, pretty much like the first heading you can put up the second feature heading, the second feature link and some lorem if some content of the second feature heading. I'm uploading the third image. I'm putting up the content. I'm putting up the link. And I'm putting up the heading. So I have three feature boxes content put up. Now there's an option to put up a full column heading and full column description. So I'm just saving all the changes right there and I'm just showing you how everything would look like in this segment. I'm just refreshing the page. You can see the main heading of the website is coming right here. The first feature heading, second feature heading and third feature heading is right appearing right here. All the three images that you have uploaded are appearing right here and the content is appearing right here. The link of the feature area is shown right here in the read more section. And there's an area for putting up home page full column heading and full column description. So you can put up any of the heading and description that you want to put up. The good thing about the word, the good thing about the theme is that it supports, it completely supports the uh, HTML as well. So you can put up any of the embed codes, any contact forms, or any other opt in forms on your website. And if you have some, if you want to show up some Vimeo video or you can just show any of the YouTube uh, video. You can just put up the embed code of the video right here or any other, any other place and they would just appear 
correctly over the website. So moving on, uh, on the next section, there is a styling option where you, where you could put up your custom CSS. If you want to change some of the styling of the web page, you can change it right here. Under the footer settings, let's say you want to change some of the footer text, which is appearing right here on the boot bottom. You can just put up, this is the footer text. And as you see on the front page, the footer text just change up here. If you want to make it multi-line, just put up the BR tag and you can just put up another line. The social network icons allow you to put up any of your social icons on the home page of the website. Let's say I have the Facebook and Twitter URLs. I'm just putting up there and as I refresh the page, you can see my Facebook and Twitter icons are appearing right here. Other than that, there's an option for SEO options. So you can put up any of the SEO options, basic SEO options right here on the SEO options tab. Also, there is a footer area which is completely widgetized. So you can pretty much set up the footer area through the widgets area. I have the search column appearing the first full footer widget area and the recent post in the second footer widget area and some text in the third footer widget area. So you can see it's appearing rightly thereafter. So this is the whole concept of how you can build your website's homepage using the Gomaro WordPress theme. I think you would enjoy building your site uh, using the Gomaro WordPress theme. So have a good luck. Bye-bye.